The Hurricanes had been building steadily in 2012. Unfortunately, they suffered another narrow loss to the Highlanders in Week 4. Sitting at two from four this season, this match determined whether they were contenders or pretenders. They named an unchanged lineup from the Highlanders' clash. This match carried an extra significance for the Blues, with two of their high-profile recruits Ma'a Nonu and Piri Wipu being shown the door by the Canes in 2011. In further bad injury news, Captain Kevin Mialamu was ruled out with a calf injury and Luke Braid received a three-week suspension for striking. Coming for Matthewson, looking for a little hole and he's so good at finding those. Taken in the tackle by Smith, but the Blues on the front foot and they've got an advantage, I think, here from Steve Walsh. Stanley fires it out to Wipu, on to Nonu. And it is a penalty. So Munro, a study of converse, uh, concentration. And the first one goes over. Look where they are, just five metres from the line now. There it is, Matthewson, pops it up, Wipu. Taken just a metre short of the line. Great chance here for the Blues. Not a just maintained superb control they each had dabs and then Weepu just held it up with his strength Look, he's taken on three defenders there and presents the ball as well and from this moment when Nonu receives it it is all over not a chance against the run of play the Canes got themselves back into the match kick floated down to Sabia and gets away from Raikuna. Julian Sabia, such a punishing runner. And now Taylor, Andre Taylor, goes around Munro. Andre Taylor, and the Hurricanes hit straight back. Oh, that's brilliant. Starts here with Sabia, just the power of the man. His hands have been terrific. He sets up Taylor, and look at him fly. The pace, swerve on the outside. He knows he's got it from this stage, and he cruises it in. That is brilliant. And that one drifting downfield into the 22. Lockie Munro, oh, he can't get away from him. Trouble here for the Blues. Corey Jane scores. Oh, oh Lockie Munro dallied, and he has been punished. Andre Taylor, I thought he'd overcooked this initially, but he hit the deck, which is now a wee bit of time, but look how much time here. Chase was great, and that's his pace from Taylor. And then Corey Jane, just to keep Weepu at bay. There for Matthewson to Weepu. Arm out from Steve Walsh, so it's a penalty advantage here for the Blues. Big hit by Lamb on Braid. The play carries on. Nonu, well, I think Nonu wasn't trying all that hard to catch that. So Blues restore a bit of their lead. Just when it looked like the Blues were back in control, the Canes struck a vital blow. Waiting for it, Barrett. On to Bateman, stabbing a little kick through. Not a bad one either. And Conrad Smith got it! <laughs> Hurricanes in front, Conrad Smith, and they've got three tries. It was a very flat line from the Blues. They saw this early. Pinball again, straight into the hands of Conrad Smith. Thank you. Pause, engage. Well, Matthewson goes to the right. Oh, Blues just looking to drive the scrum a bit here and doing so. Shoved them back a good five metres and still going. Well, they were waiting for a penalty and they've got it. And he still hasn't missed. It's 19 all at Eden Park. The home side continued to apply the pressure. Looks like Farmerino's going to have another go. And they come back for the penalty. That's his fifth penalty. 
And it's 22-19 to the Blues. Wouldn't make it well. The Blues win the line out. And Rudy Wolf touches onto it and runs strongly. Great determination from the Blues left winger. Now Lowry taking in the tackle on the 22. Famuina. Arm goes out from Steve Walsh. And Hurricanes giving away penalties. This could put them out to a six point lead. Problem for Lockie Munro. 25 19, the Blues lead at Eden Park. With under a minute to go, the visitors needed a converted try for an unlikely victory. The Hurricanes still have it. Eaton, Barrett now. Spots a hole. Barrett gets past Munro. Now he needs someone to pass to. It's Conrad Smith. Conrad Smith to score. What drama! Side the game. What a talent. Oh, he just cut them to pieces. He is quick. He sees space in Conrad Smith. If there's ever going to be someone working to get there in support, it'll be this guy. No kick easy under these circumstances. A cracker to kick off week five.